What if we mix an Italian pasta with this Peruvian sauce, one caina? Cuarenta huevo casera. Let's make a demi glass. Hello everyone, as always hoping you're doing very well at home. Today I'm bringing you a really delicious dish. In this case, we're gonna make some kind of fusion food. We're gonna make something with fettuccines, Peruvian sauce called huancaina, it's a yellow creamy sauce, it's delicious. And also we're gonna make another sauce made of port wine with some tenderloin of beef. You listen? The street vendors, they, they're coming to in our neighborhoods. And it's quite annoying that they just record an audio and they repeat it 300 times. I already know all her texts. Cuarenta huevo casera. As we all know, Italian food, pastas and Italian sauces are one of the most popular foods all over the world. What if we mix an Italian pasta like the fettuccines, which is a pasta made with flour, oil and eggs, with this Peruvian sauce, one caina. It's gonna be really really good but on the side we're gonna make another sauce that is a uh, port wine sauce i'm gonna show you step by step how to make this you can make it at home it's really simple and it's gonna be delicious okay so let's start with it right now so what is one caina sauce maybe you have tried it if you've been to peru if you have never this is a really tasty delicious yellow cream that I normally served with potatoes we call it papa a la huancaina but what is the origin of this sauce? There are many stories about it. One of the most famous and most known is that at the end of the 1800s, when the railways that connects Lima with Huancayo, which is another region of Peru, were under construction, these guys used to work really hard on this. It was a girl that used to deliver uh, like salt food to these people. So she used to deliver this food that there would be boiled potatoes with a cream on top, with a cream made of cracker uh, or bread with cheese, milk, uh, and peppers. And on top of that, boiled eggs, that's it, boiled eggs. People didn't really know what was the name of that sauce because this is probably something that someone just created with some ingredients she had at home. People started calling this Huancaina sauce because this girl was from Huancayo. People from Huancayo are called Huancainas, people from Lima are called Limeños, etc. At the beginning, this sauce used to be made with another pepper, not with this yellow pepper that we use for everything now. It used to be made with something called rocoto, which is a spicy pepper, similar to the bell pepper, but quite spicy. So after it's boiled in water a couple of times, it loses that spicy factor it has and keeps the good flavor. So after many years, people started making that sauce, but with this yellow pepper. That's why uh, the color, this yellow color, but it used to be completely different before. Let me show you now how we're gonna make this sauce. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take these yellow peppers that I showed you also in the um, video Causa Limeña. You can boil it in water if you want, but I prefer to put it in a pan with not much oil and kind of make like a little stir fry of that. Put that and a couple of garlic cloves. So you don't need to chop the garlic cloves, don't worry. So after we have it in the fire for three, five minutes, that depends on the kind of fire you have, if it's strong or not too strong. So after we do this, we just take it to the blender. We let it get a bit colder, actually. We let it rest a little bit, and then we put it inside the blender. We're gonna take evaporated milk, some crackers, a little bit of oil, some fresh cheese. This cheese that we use here is quite salty. You can use other one like ricotta, for example. That can be a good option to replace this one. But try to find a cheese that is quite salty. That's it. Then after this is made, we just reserve it on the side because this is what we're gonna mix with the fettuccines later. While we make this one caina sauce, we're gonna put some water to boil. After it's boiled, we're gonna put the fettuccines there. We're gonna just let them cook for a moment. Let's not overcook them, let's just cook them as we say here, al dente. It's perfectly made, ready to eat. So about this port wine sauce, in Spanish it's vino de Oporto. And this is originally from Portugal. It's a fortified wine, it's quite strong, really sweet as well. And we normally use this for cooking, not for drinking. It would be probably too sweet and quite strong. For making this sauce, we first need to make some stock, beef stock. We just take a couple of liters of water, we put bones of the cow, vegetables like carrot, onion, and also celery. We cut this in mirepoix. We put this in the fire, boiling for a couple of hours, an hour, two hours. And then we just reserve the stock. I have this ready. This is really easy to make. After that, let's make a demi-glass. Demi-glass. 
do new gloss to make this it's gonna be simple too but we need the stock for this so we're gonna put the stock on the on the fire we can add a little bit of butter we need to mix a bit of flour as well i'm gonna use the starch here to make it a bit thicker and i'm gonna mix the starch with cold water and i'm gonna add that to the to the stock we need to let the stock reduce we need to let it reduce 40 50 percent so that means in half if we add one liter it's gonna reduce to half of it approximately it can be a bit less or a bit more actually but let's not do this with that strong fire let's do it with a medium fire and it's, let's take our time doing this we can make this the day before and this is gonna last a couple of days actually in the fridge after we have the demi glass and everything ready for making this port wine sauce first of all we add some butter to the pan or in the pot if you want you can use any of those and let the onion get cooked until it gets a bit transparent you can use white onion in this case i'm using red we use red onion here for everything but the white onion is gonna go out really good in this after that after it's cooked and the onion is quite transparent we're gonna add the port wine and some red wine here we have to do something that we call reduction we need to reduce this we need to evaporate the alcohol this wine has and just keep the good flavor of it that's what we have to do so it's gonna take time do it in medium fire don't burn anything we don't need the strong fire here so just some patience and love for what you're doing after the wine gets reduced we're gonna add that demi glass but how do we know the wine is reduced we just have to well stir a little bit we try we shouldn't feel any alcohol in that not anymore so that's when we notice this is perfect and this is ready and we can add our demi glass over there after some minutes we're gonna keep stirring as i said before in a medium fire medium fire never strong fire we don't want to to burn this this is gonna get a bit thicker of course because of the demi glass you know we had there like the beef stock with the, the flour or starch we're gonna add one cup of cream but we can start adding half a cup of cream and then if we need more we add the other half little by little salt and pepper and you need to try and it's gonna taste really good when this sauce is almost ready we're gonna take another pan a bit of uh, butter or olive oil and we're gonna saute the mushrooms just for a minute uh, not not more then we add these mushrooms into the sauce and this is gonna be ready to use about the meat in this case tenderloin we're gonna add salt and pepper depending on how thick it is we're gonna cook it I cooked mine for 40 seconds per side But I did this before I started making this port wine sauce. So what I did, I had a not hot, but medium hot oven, turn it on. And after I finished with the tenderloin, I put it over there. But just to keep it warm. So I put the oven in the lowest temperature and I keep it there for, for just a couple of minutes. Another thing you could do is just a couple of minutes before being ready with the sauce, you just cook your tenderloin. The idea, well, in my case, because I like it this way, is to have it quite raw in the middle. I like it medium rare, medium, maybe three quarters, but no more than that. But I'll, that also depends on the kind of meat you're using. So it's going to be up to you. If you want to overcook it, go ahead and then just have it ready. And that's how we put the sauce on top. When you finish your port wine sauce, we put it in a really low medium fire. We're going to warm up our wankaina sauce. We put a bit of, a bit of evaporated milk. When this is warm, we keep stirring, we don't stop. We're gonna add the fettuccine on top. We're gonna mix it over there. And this is when we are ready to serve this. So we take the fettuccine with one kind of sauce, we serve it on a plate. On the side, we put the meat, in this case, a tenderloin in half, and on top as much sauce as you want. When making this dish, you can really mix this with any other any other thing. For example, you could make uh, you could mix this 
uh, sauce, one kind of sauce with marinara sauce or bolognese sauce with spaghetti. This is delicious. There are many, many ways to do it. You could also mix the same fettuccines with huancaina, but instead of this meat with this port wine sauce, you can put a lomo soldado on the side. And we did it last time, so you know how to do it. The options are endless. Just get creative. And I hope you can create your own version of this dish at home or make the same one. Just send us your pictures and I'll be happy to repost them. Thank you. Bye.